Namaste! Grand Rising Big Cat Fire Signs, welcome or welcome back to Big Cat Astrology, Big Cat Wave, as we unpack the planetary hot topics to add to your almanac over the next seven days. On the 17th of March, the Sun in Pisces is conjunct to Neptune in Pisces. If you desire to help others, now is the opportune time. It's also a fabulous time to bury past conflicts. Reconciliation may take precedence. You may even consider using mediation. Expect a boost in your psychic abilities and a more captivating aura. Spend quality time amidst nature and animals and consider adopting a, a diet which is rich in vegetables to enhance your well-being. On the 18th, the moon in Cancer squares Mercury in Aries. Expect communication delays and unfavorable travel conditions. Navigation through unfamiliar territory might prove challenging, leading to potential distractions and mental burnout. <laughs> Conflicts with siblings or neighbors are possible. Um, exercise caution with electronic messages as they may be sent to the wrong person. On the 19th, we have the airy spring equinox, astrological new year, Ostara, which is a pagan, um, it's a pagan Easter. Okay, yeah, okay, okay, okay. All right. Airy season brings forth energy, enthusiasm, and excitement, urging you to quest for balance and present in the moment awareness. Embrace positivity and consider implementing new routines or practices. Live in the present rather than dwelling on past regrets or future uncertainties. On the 20th, the moon in Leo squares Jupiter in Taurus. Avoid excessive exer ex exertion. Financial investments and risky ventures are ill-advised due to your heightened emotional involvement exercise prudence in matters concerning real estate home decor and gambling activities on the 21st the sun in aries sextiles pluto in aquarius view this period as an opportunity for transformative change intimate relationships may undergo significant exploration as well as growth consider seeking financial support from individuals that are influential during this phase on the 22nd, the moon enters Pisces until the 30th of April, 2024. During this transit, prioritize spiritual and emotional pursuits over confrontational situations. Your priorities may shift towards aiding others. Adaptability and intuition play key roles in achieving goals during this period. On the 23rd, the moon in Virgo is in opposition to Saturn in Pisces. Home life may be chaotic with conflicts arising over family and financial matters. Meditation and mediation, as well as self-care and maintaining a clean environment is important at this time. Refrain from seeking advice from elders or authority figures today. All answers will come from within. Please stay tuned in for the tarot reading to follow. Big hair wave. Ha ha. Namaste. Grand rising fire signs. Welcome or welcome back to Frequency Phoenix 555. For messages for your next seven days. Aries. Leo. Sagittarius, big cat wave. Let's dive in, darling dears, and unpack. Take a good shifty. Oh. 
Oh, good golly and gosh. You have the energy of a five, darling dears. But we'll put this to one side as we discuss where you are on the Loshu numerology grid. It's Chinese numerology. You are currently on a number one, darling dears. Lean in, bestie, because you're about to get real intel. The energy of the one speaks about your career. Um, it's about your su success within your work, darling dears. It also speaks about somebody or someone, what is about to get what? A promotion, darling dears. A better job, better working conditions. Mm -hmm. It also speaks about the changing of a career is going to create better working conditions for you, darling dears. Love it. I don't hate it. The energy of the one is also representative of your life path number, darling. There's someone or someone is following their true life path. Good golly and gosh. You found your purpose, did you? Don't tell anyone. Mm -hmm. Let's press on. You have the energy of a five, darling. Dears. Let's put that right there so you can see what's going on. With the energy of the five, darling. Dears, your birthday could be the 5th, the 14th, or the 23rd, or that's a significant date or number in your life. It speaks about you being a free spirit. You're looking extremely attractive at this moment in time. Mm -hmm. You've got that flow and that glow about you, fire signs, over the next seven days. Your luckiest days will be Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. It speaks about a bad phase, something that you was having issues with or found challenging is blowing over, darling dears. Mm -hmm. The number five is also represented by the letters E, N and W. Um, the number five is ruled by Mercury. Mercury comes through with the letters E, H, N, X. Okay. Mercury is the planet of communication, darling dears. Mm -hmm. It speaks about your intellect, your logic, your perception, how you are being perceived as well as how you perceive things are changing over the next seven days. Mercury takes 14 to 30 days to transit, darling dears. So this speaks about something that has been going on in your life, something that's been prevalent over the last 14 to 13 days. Mm -hmm. Love it. I don't hate it. All right. Let's see. Let me just quickly check where Mercury is at this moment in time. Mercury is currently in Aquarius. Mm -hmm. Okay. Check out those placements on your birth natal chart. The energy of the two speaks about it being a lucky period for you. As I said, somebody's changing their job, their career. It could also be a change of what? Perception, darling dears. Giving you what? The whole enchilada. Mm -hmm. It also speaks about if you've got any travel plans, they're going to be going well. But avoid, um, I think it's, is it Monday? What day is it? You come out on a Sunday. So Monday, possibly Monday, be careful with your travel. Mm -hmm. There may be delays, okay? Um, it speaks about compliments and gifts. So you're going to find people complimenting you more because you are on a five. And f listen, the energy of a five life path, they're very attractive. They ain't short of a partner or groups of friends, darling. There's member, I told you that. Use that energy wisely. You also have the energy of a three. This speaks about what conflict, darling, is. Because your life path is about to change, it's going to be nerve-wracking for a simpleton or a feeble-minded. Yeah, they're not going to like it. So be careful of arguments, darling, is, especially in a family setting over the next seven days. The argument could be developed because of family dynamics. It could be over finances, darling, dears. Mm -hmm. The energy of the two five, darling, dears. I mean, oh, did I say two five? Freudian slip meant to come out. The two five again. We already had that come up in a read um, a few days ago. Someone in public office is about to be, what, taken down a peg or two or exposed, darling, dears. Remember I told you that? Mark it on your almanac. Mm -hmm. The energy of the two three speaks about what? A karmic debt has been paid. Remember I told you that? Paid in full. Whether on this Malkuth or from your karmic past or an ancestral debt. You've paid it, darling dears. This is why things are what? Loosening up for you over the next seven days. Mm -hmm. Okay. The energy of the five again. 
as I said, it's a family issue, some kind of problem in your home environment over the next seven days. Be, be careful and guard your temper, darling dears. Find a different way to what channel those negative energies. Don't take it out on the situation. Divine is already telling you that you need to gain a new perspective, darling dears, in order to what? Make an informed decision. Okay, let's press on at a hot trot. Let's get some intuitive messages because it said an argument amongst your family or those you see as family. Yeah, be very careful with your words because regret could be what your dining partner for air, darling dears. It also speaks about somebody coming through with regret, darling dears. Remember, regret is not remorse. It's the difference between a Judas and a Peter. So be very careful. Mm -hmm. Base of the deck, darling dears, you've got a stalker. Somebody is stalking you. Hillbilly investigations have been launched, darling dears. Somebody trying to find out exactly what's going on in your life. Let's get one more card to join that for the ancestral message. Let's get a deck I haven't used in a while. Okay. I picked up the I picked up this deck. Oh my god. I picked up this deck and these cards fell out. All right? The elastic band is broken from that, so you've broken a cycle. And what's on top? This is like the Wheel of Fortune, darling. There's compass, a new direction. It's on the energy of the six. Six speaks about what teamwork, cooperation, and harmony, darling. Dears. This is what you want to work for or work towards in a family setting. Remember, listen, some things that are spoken, they can't be taken back, darling. Dears. Mm hmm. Remember, your situation is about to change. Forewarned is forearmed. Okay. Oracle ancestral message. All that glitters is not gold. Be careful of full gold, darling dears. It's on the energy of the 16 because it will create a tower moment. Mm -hmm. Again, I said, be careful with your travel plans. Be careful of your communications. I believe this. Be careful of um, wrong messages being sent out, darling dears. It also speaks about somebody sending you a message, a stalker, darling dears, possibly with an offer. Remember, all that glitters is not gold. It could be fresh is naive, shining in the sunlight, darling dears. Love it. Don't hate it because it's a never-ending story. Never-ending story can be good or bad. It looks like you're on the precipice of something new. The flag represents transformation, darling dears, on every level, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, and financially, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a new beginning for you. The three and the seven is a 10. 10 speaks about what ended of a cycle in order for a new cycle to begin. The tribe, darling dears, calling in your tribe, your soul tribe, or in your family dynamic. Remember I told you that. All right. Let's get a stand. All these stands are tangled up together, but I've got one that's free. I'm a dexterous cat, darling dears. All-purpose cat. Always be prepared. That's our motto, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Right. Let's get a deck and break it down some more for you base of your deck this is um you've got news coming towards you knight of wands in the upright darling dears the um, knights are always seen as messengers the messengers of tarot darling dears mm -hmm. this knight of wands speaks about a travel your travel's gonna go well but like i said look at the astrology report that i did and see what days you have to avoid the travel but it also speaks about um Moving into a new home, its home could be a new job, a new environment. It also speaks about what fickle people, darling dears, argumentative people that are going to try and run in and strong arm you into doing what they want. Mm -hmm. Somebody's also going to be what? Going on a date, darling dears. A date. Okay, how does your money and finances look? You are standing your ground, seven of wands in the upright. Clarify the seven of wands, please. Good golly, gosh. Yeah, because you're making the right decision, darling dears. Seven of wands is about you listening to your intuition as far as your finances and your work life is concerned. This is this is being in emotional alignment, darling dears. A new job for some. In your in your if you have a job that you are Maybe you're not moving on to a new job, but it's like new ideas or your ideas are being implemented, darling dears. Or you are speaking up for yourself in a situation. This goes to eight of ones. Yeah. If you're seeking some kind of justice in a working environment, it's going to go your way. This goes to two twos on the tableau, darling dears. 
again some are going to come to the conclusion it's time to part ways but remember the universe is about to catch you why because where you are is fresh is naive shining in the sunlight guys and we've only got one life to live mm -hmm. and work if you're doing a nine to five is where you will spend the most time in your life darling dears but it's definitely a um, new ideas new beginning listening to your intuition your discernment somebody or some bodies are going into new positions you could also be an entrepreneur yeah because it was a lot of heartbreak and betrayal a lot of distrust in a situation using your intuition to guide you listen to your intuition all answers come from within okay giving it a good shifty what's this for my singles Somebody's feeling wounded, but it also speaks about your spiritual strength, darling, dear spiritual protection. Nine of Wands in the upright for my singles. Mm -hmm. This speaks about your persistence as well as your your resilience, darling, dears. You are going to have to be vigilant. Was it vigilant? Belligerent? Bel vigilance. Vigilant. I can't say it. Say it for me, bestie. Anyhow, my tongue won't twist around it. Am I saying it? Vigilance. Yeah, yeah, because you're going to be put into a situation where you're going to have to defend yourself, darling dears. You're, you're going to be challenged, but be careful of what? A permanent separation. This is how you handle it, darling dears. What else do my singles need to know? Mm -hmm. It's about protecting your peace and your energies over the next seven days. Sun, sun in the reverse, darling dears. It also speaks about travel information or travel plans. As I said, be careful of the day that you travel, you plan to travel, darling dears, because you won't be happy. You won't get a good outcome if you choose the wrong date. Pay attention to the astrological energies I gave before this read to give you the heads up. All right. Yeah. What's all of this? This is outrageous. The cards are all falling backwards and forwards. One more card on the page of cups. There's someone lying, darling dears. A big time liar and a spire, darling dears. You're going to be told a lie over the next seven days, darling dears. Yeah, this lie is going to be told to a group of people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the person telling is the biggest liar of them all, darling dears. Be careful not to be ensnared in the trap that it looks like being set for you. Yeah, cap that shit, world card. All right. A lying liar is afoot. Be on the alert, darling dears. Could be in a family situation. Could be in a work situation. But remember, you have spiritual strength, discernment. And your intuition to what guide you through, darling dears. Yeah. For my partners, there's a situation that's not working at this moment in time. You see the cards are hard to get together. A challenging situation from those in a coupledom or partnership. Yeah, somebody's feeling extremely disappointed, darling dears. Disillusioned, while the other one is looking like a what? A dummy bat and a dumb ass. Look at this! Nine of Wands have come back in the reverse. I might add. Mm -hmm. This speaks about um, somebody's coming out of some form of isolation because cups is about relationships, it's about emotions, darling dears. A couple or someone in a, in a partnership, they haven't been speaking properly. Yeah, there's been a lot of confusion, so it's a lot of passive aggressive in a situation. Mm -hmm. These two jumped out. Yeah, but you're going to get over it, darling. This is through true, true communication, success, but everybody being on the same page. And it also speaks about traveling. If you're planning to travel in a relationship or partnership, it's going to go extremely well. Yes, good golly and gosh. But it's not going, because in the upright, this is looking at your long term. This is a short trip that you're going to be taking, darling, dears. Page of Swords, be careful of the day or date you choose to make the trip. Don't make your money go down the toilet, darling, dears. Spend it wisely. But there's been a lot of emotions that are not being communicated in a situation, but it appears that breakthrough will be achieved over the next seven days. Star energy, this is healing coming through for a partnership or a couple of them, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is there anything else that they need to be aware of? Because that was a lot. Right. Oh. Hangman, this is about you taking the time before you speak Sword's energy on its face, darling dears. Guard your words because you don't want to live in regret. And it's also about your intel, darling dears. Stop giving out too much information over the next seven days. There's going to be a lot of people interested in what you've got going on, darling dears. But it also speaks about what? Someone being a sacrificial lamb. Yeah. 
somebody's going to try and sacrifice a fire sign over the next seven days in a situation it's going to make them very happy if you fall into that snare that trap yes don't allow them to get you with the burden darling there's one's energy on its face you'll be good you've got the oh pardon me that was a spiritual belch because i speak the truth roof pinkies up you're gonna you've got the heads up darling dears you're gonna be successful to be able to navigate the situation because you're getting an 11 11 fade instant manifestation and things working out in your way mm -hmm. okay 100 percent, darling dears 100 percent. yeah Definitely going to be revealed to whom this person is, this instigator, darling dear. Somebody's going to try and catch you in a vulnerable moment. All of this wood, this one's energy, darling dear, is spiritual energy, it's fire energy. It speaks about Archangel Gabriel calling at any time for what strength and protection, darling dears. It also speaks about um. I said Archangel Gabriel, but it's Michael, darling dears. I think you're going to have to use the help of both because Archangel Gabriel represents water energy, your relationships, your emotions, about getting um, nurturing, things that are mysterious, darling dears. Having things revealed to you is for healing. And for the fire energy, Archangel Michael is assistance, darling dears. Something to do with a lion. Something to do with a lion. It's a lion, somebody's emblem. I know you're a big cat, but lion just jumped into my mind, Okay. And, and the summer months, okay. But the one's energy, darling, this is about you what tapping into your psychic abilities. Lots of one speaks about a dramatic event that's coming towards you, darling, dears. Mm -hmm. This is about you putting your third eye on situations in order for them to go your way and avoiding toxic, argumentative, low vibing situations. Look, tower moment in the reverse to avoid it. Okay, you've been forewarned, you have free will. Do we have any final message? Yeah. What you're seeking is seeking you. And that's true balance in every aspect of your life, darling dears. You're going to see things going more smoothly because you're going to get over the whatever this betrayal is. We're also speaking about the betrayal could, betrayal could be from an argument, argument of words. It could be online, darling dears. Yeah. This also speaks about bitter and jealous, what? Female family members that are lying on your godly name, darling dears. Be careful of arguing. Remember, if they've got your emotions, they're your king. You don't give up your psychological password. We saw the hangman. See everything from a different perspective, darling dears. Don't try and win people over with your words. You win with your actions. Law number nine of the 48 laws of power, darling dears. The energy of the five. This speaks about what? The fifth house. The fifth house represents, um, it represents your creativity, how you express yourself, darling dears. But it's also the house of what? Drama. It's the house of dating, darling dears. It's the house of affairs. It also speaks about speculations. People are speculating about the tal talents that you've got. We've also, with the fifth house coming out, you're going to hear something significant happening with the royal family over the next seven days, darling dears. Yes, there is. Because some lies have been told, all that glitters is not gold. And the high priestess in the reverse can also represent a death. I think something's going on with Princess, um, the Princess of Wales, Kate Middleton, darling dears. I already did the reading on that. I believe that she is, she is unalive. Well, this is what the card said. And you, listen, the cards don't lie, people do. Split the deck, King of Cups. As I say that. Listen, we all know that William's been in his cups, darling dears, and he told a major lie the other day. Look how the read took a turn straight into the royal family. What golly and gosh. Be on the alert for drama, darling dears. Forewarned is forearmed. And now we have the king of cups in the upright. Yeah, that's being what? In using, utilizing emotional maturity, darling dears. Thinking before you speak and not making what? Emotionally based decisions because it won't go in your favor. On that note, I drops me mic. Toddle love to my Teesprings. Pick up some of the channel merch. My Patreon and my TikToks where I also upload videos. If, thank you very much for your continued support of me in this channel as I get those messages out and, and get at you big cats. One cat at a time, darling dears. Thank you for your likes, your subscribes, your shares, and especially your comments because your comments is a survival kit for another big cat. And as I always say, don't get smoked and don't smoke yourself. 
from the ashes, baby. Namaste. The energy of the five darling dears is represented by the what? Hierophant and temperance. So it's about your what? Father God Most High, Hierophant is the second house. Your finances, I told you, somebody's changing their career. And the temperance energy is that you're an earth angel. It speaks about the difficult journey you've been on, but enlightenment is afoot, darling dears. And as I always say, don't get smoked. And don't smoke yourself. From the ashes, baby. Namaste. Big care wave. Until we meet again on these tarot streets, cat, 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 cat.